Deputy Lowen got behind a reported stolen vehicle out of Indiana. All right, we're catching up to him. One at a time. What? Get your hands up. Get your freaking hands up. Don't move till you get told to. Hold your hands. Get your hands up. Don't move. Don't freaking move. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm stuck. Wait. Watch your crossbar with your weapons. Don't do anything stupid. You understand me? Step up. Shut up and get out of the car. Shut up and get out of the car. Down on the ground. Uh, 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 uh. All right, Jay, I'll get in. I'll get in. Hey, buddy. Come watch to watch me. Out, out. Come out. Hey, Come to me. Watch out, watch out, Mike. Move out. Come to him. Knees. Knees. Get on your knees. Turn around, wait for me. Wait for me. Head behind your back. Head behind your back. Spread your feet. I'm up, buddy. Please, please, I'm up. I have my wallet on me. I'm checking for guns, man. Screw your wallet. I don't have a gun. Well, I don't know that. I know, I know. I'm just telling you, buddy. One female, three males, all detained right now in custody. Hey, LT. Oh, yeah. That might be uh, That is crystal methamphetamine. That's why they're running. Oh, high grade, we'll put it that way. Ain't nothing good quality about meth, but it's high grade. <laughs> so at this point, we're going to go through everything. That's a bang bang. Hey, it's a good lick right there. Stuck right there, huh? Yep, good shot. That's good. Deputy Wood has just found and located a handgun. Loaded. This vehicle is just nothing but a doper's paradise. There was a considerable amount of meth found in that vehicle. Okay. We don't know whose it is. If somebody doesn't tell us, I don't know if the other three are claiming it. I'm, no, I'm talking to you. I got you detained, so I'm talking to you. That's why I Mirandized you before I started asking anything, because I want to get the story straight from you. I don't know what the other people have said. I want to get your side of the story so you can begin to help yourself. Okay? The driver and the passenger, they were just driving around. Okay. It was not mine though. Okay. So when I go to prison, it, it's that's up to that's up to the DA boss and the judge. Nobody wanted to claim anything and nobody knew anything. So all four occupants were charged with the methamphetamine. FC. Sure. Sure. Uh, the driver was charged with taking a stolen motor vehicle, reckless driving, and a host of other traffic charges.
person, possibly. This red Chevy car. Red Chevy Cobalt. Hey, you have ID? Yeah. Is this your car? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's my brother, but I bought it from him. It's on his name. Okay. Who's in the car with you? My friend. He got ID? Uh, I'm not sure. Right, let's go talk to him, make sure he's got ID. You don't have your ID? I don't have no paperwork. You don't have anything that's got your name on it? The reason why I've stopped you is somebody's got a warrant associated with this car, so I'm gonna need to get your name. Alex. Huh? Alex. Is there any marijuana in this car? Huh? Yeah. There is? All right, appreciate it. It's just yours? Anymore? You on probation or parole? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You are? All right, step out here. Let me just turn around. Turn around. Turn around, dude. Don't do nothing stupid. Don't do nothing stupid, you hear me? Don't do nothing stupid. Do not friggin' move. Do you guys want to answer any questions? You don't want to answer any questions at this point? All right, have a seat in there for me. We're going to conduct a search of your car. The driver said there's some more drugs in the car. He's not sure uh, what they are, so we're going to search the vehicle. Another blunt. What all these guys do is smoke dope. Unopened Cheetos. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, he's going to get charged with that, too. That looks like it's pharmaceutical grade, too. You don't get this prescribed to you in this quantity. This is what the pharmacist will make uh, the prescription up out of and pour it in a smaller bottle, with, usually with your name, a traditional medicine bottle, with your name and your information on it. These are just straight up pharmaceutical grade products. I'm just trying to figure out how to get the seat to come back forward. This is probably some of the concoction that they made. More than likely with that codeine stuff in it. So on the back seat on the floor. Bro. Uh, yeah, just, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is, but it's heavy. Oh, wow. That is gonna be probably the most meth I've ever got on a traffic stop myself. That uh, is clearly two one gallon tubs of what appears to be crystal methamphetamine. These guys are running some serious dope. I identified the driver who is wanted on a uh, felony probation violation warrant. Um, so he's in custody for that. The passenger is going to be arrested for the marijuana that he had. And they're both going to be charged for the approximately, I would say, four pounds of crystal methamphetamine that we found in the vehicle, as well as some pharmaceutical grade liquid codeine, which are felonies. Yeah, they, they are, we already read a Miranda. They don't want to talk. That's cool. We're going to turn this over to our drug investigators that's with the sheriff's office but it's a pretty good lick on an otherwise unassuming warrant. Got a possible wanted person. Stop this car and ID who's in here. Let's see what we got. Hey, how are you? Is this your car, ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm David Baker with the Gwinnett County Sheriff's Office. The reason why I'm stopping you is there's someone associated with this car has a warrant. Oh, okay. So do you have a driver's license? I sure do. Sir, do you have your ID with you? The person's name is Miles, born in 1991. No idea who that is. I'm going to note my file. So next time it pops up, it'll have a note saying, the person's not associated with does not know I this person. The only other question I have for you, is there any marijuana in here? Because when I walked up to the car, I smelled marijuana when I walked up here. Any weapons in the car? Firearms or anything like that? All right, both of y'all step out. Go ahead, turn around, put your hands behind your back. I just said it was right there. But when I asked you if there was any marijuana in the car, all right, you lied to me. Just set him in your car for now, and maybe he'll get away with just a ticket. and.
put her in handcuffs. Inside a sock appeared to be some crack cocaine. Um, now I'm just now finding a, some more cocaine and a uh, marijuana grinder. So this is getting more and more interesting as it, as it goes along here. Pretty big bag of cocaine. I haven't seen that much of cocaine in a while. I just want to make sure there's nothing back in there. Nothing this. Oh. Is there a gun somewhere in the car? You don't have a gun on you, right? You have a gun on you right now? All right, here's what we're gonna do. Cause this is getting crazier. All right. It's one that he handed to me. Okay, turn around. It's in this pocket. Don't, don't reach for no, I'm not. a damn thing. No, I'm not. I'm telling you where it's at. It's in that pocket. He gave it to me before, before we got out of the car. Okay. There's a firearm in the car and on your person where the whole time I've been standing you. I understand that. And I'm just now finding out I you know, got a gun? No, I you know how angry that makes me? I swear I was gonna tell you when you were done. When? When you were When would have been the appropriate time to tell me, officer, I got a gun on me? I was going to tell you. I told when? You I when? I'm asking when. when I've been standing here talking to you for 15 minutes. Yes, sir. And I was gonna tell you to look in my right pocket. I you had plenty of opportunity, ma'am, to tell me to look I in your right front pocket. I know I did. Plenty of opportunity. You had plenty of opportunity to tell that deputy right there who stood standing there watching you. And one in the chamber. That's a felony. Nothing makes a deputy more upset when you're talking to somebody and you're being polite with them and you're being calm with them regardless of everything you found and they're standing there with a freaking gun in their pocket. I'm sorry. I was going to tell you. I swear to God I was going to tell you. Who's all the drugs belong to? Everything belongs to me, sir. Everything belongs to you? Yes, sir. Nothing belongs to her. Okay. What about the gun? Okay. It's mine. It's yours. It ain't nothing hers. Everything that you found in the car is mine. Sir. Okay. Your husband's going to jail. Do you understand the severity of you having a firearm you, on you? Something that can end my life? I don't understand. When I have no idea that you have it on you and get shot in the back or shot in the back of my head, and then my family's going to a funeral? And that was my fault. And I'm very sorry. I truly am. She finally admitted that she knew everything that was in the vehicle to include the firearm, which her husband passed off to her because he's a convicted felon. So she's going to re be released and um, go free. Uh, he's going to go to jail and be charged with the gun and the narcotics that we found. Could have been a very different situation tonight. Luckily, uh, everything turned out OK. We'll move on to the next thing. about to execute a search warrant. The intel we have on this location um, is that it's going to be a stash house. We really don't know what it is until we get inside. This location has possibly marijuana, possibly guns. Should be approaching the house shortly here on the left-hand side. Team deploy now. This is juvenile, 23. Female. 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 Oh, right there. Oh, right there. Light that up. Light that up. I got it. I got it. I got it. How, how old are you, ma'am? 18. OK, come on this way, all right? I got you. Come on this way. I got you. Hey, 
They go behind the van. Come to my boys now. Got one coming come out. Come to my boys. All right, come yeah. Come to my boys yeah. now. Yeah. Don't leave my sight. Come to my boys. Come to me. Come to me. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Contact one male. Contact one male. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Turn around. Turn around. Right, we had two right at the back of the house. Huh? 1095 with those two. Nice. Um, just found another. We had two individuals take off from this house. Um, the officers were able to con uh, make contact and arrest those guys. We're still affecting the uh, search warrant. Uh, we started at 6 o'clock. It's um, 10 minutes after 8 now. This house is rigged up with a lot of cameras. As uh, far as we know, we hadn't seen any monitors here, so these Cameras might be wired to other locations where they can actually see what's going on here. A couple of guns in the uh, bedroom, in the shower, in the closet. So it's pretty much he was staging things where he can have a gun battle if he had it to. We came across $240,000 cash took a lot of substance off the street. Ended up locking up two individuals. A good day. It looks like Dave's gone behind the stolen vehicle out of Tennessee. I'm trying to catch up to him. I'm trying to get this vehicle stopped. We'll get there and see what we can do here. Okay. SO six eight three ten seven. Step out. Unlock that door. Step out. Do you see belt? Step out. Hands in the air. Turn around. Turn around. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. I don't even know if this is stolen. Who's said anything about it being stolen? The, the cop that just took him out of the car said okay. that this vehicle has come back. Well, how long have you had the vehicle? We just bought it. When? Earlier today, or last night. Last night? Like From last who? Night. I don't know. It was one of his friends. I don't even know his name. I didn't. Um, SO683, you can 1039. We got two detained, one male, one female. They think, think we should stole that truck. So right now I'm looking at uh, what we got in the vehicle. Looks like a little smoking pipe. We got a blunt right there. Just a lot of nasty things inside this vehicle. Another hypodermic needle. So far I've found four hypos, an empty plastic bag with uh, odor of marijuana. Uh, he's telling me that a guy that they bought it from showed up to do a dope deal, and then they decided to buy the truck. So what did they tell you the name was? Um, well, Michael. Huh? Michael was selling She truck. told me James. I found about eight needles in that truck. Yeah, no, it's from my hip. OK, I don't see any signs of it in the truck. Just riding with my girl, man. That's all I know. Have I you know ever? She didn't steal that truck, guys. I know that. We bought the, she bought the son of a off a dude. Who's the dude? Garrett is his name. Garrett. He's in Green County Jail right now, the son of a is. In Tennessee? Yes, sir. How'd he get locked up in jail if she just bought the truck know. yesterday? He, he, because he had to turn himself in tonight. Okay. But now, you're saying it's stolen. Yeah. Am I going to be in trouble for that? Yeah. Well, you both right now are in possession of a stolen vehicle. Am I in possession of it? You're both riding in it. Can you write us a citation? No, 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 no. no. This is a felony. We're out the rip. This is a felony. Are you serious? It's a felony. Yeah, it's not no misdemeanor. It's not no ticket, scratch it, and go home. So, I mean, you're in, t you're in possession of something that don't belong to you that's I'm a vehicle. You're in possession of anything. Really. You're in it, my man. I don't believe that they just purchased this vehicle the other day, even though they're both sticking to the story. With the amount of stuff that's in the truck, I think they've been driving this vehicle around a lot longer than yesterday. We've recovered the vehicle for a veteran from where the vehicle was stolen from. He came out of the VA hospital and his vehicle was gone. So he'll be getting his truck back in one piece, and these two are going to go to jail.